Hey, this is Dickie. I'm one of the owners of Turfs Up, and I'm here to demonstrate how the system works. If you understand how to play the games, it will substantially improve your experience here at Turfs Up. So first, I'm gonna start with how to use the screen. When you come in here and you get a bay, it's like renting a lane at a bowling alley. You're under the control, you have the space for yourself, and you simply use the monitor. It's a touch screen monitor, so when you touch it, it reacts, kinda obvious, but it does take a little bit to get used to, not quite like your phone. If you're doing a technical program like golf, you actually, in some cases, would take the keyboard and mouse and put it up on the, on the, uh, the uh, shelf here. So, in this instance, we're just gonna use touch screen. So what you'll do is you wanna go through here and push the arrows and select which game you wanna actually use. So we're gonna do for today, for the example, we're gonna do the quarterback challenge. And this will teach you a couple things about the system. Each game you choose will give you some additional options. So right now we're just gonna do one player. We're gonna pick the two minute drill and we're gonna keep it on easy because I'm getting chubby and throwing the ball is getting more difficult for me the older I, the older I get. We're going to do just the regular stadium. You can choose some other places as well. And if you notice, it says home team is blue. We're going to make sure that we're throwing at the blue, the blue target. But you commonly have a thought that you have to just hit the target because that's how a video game works, right? You see the target, you throw the ball lightly, you hit it. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't work. Well, that's because this is like real sports. You're playing real sports in here, you're throwing real balls, you gotta work for a win. So if, I'm, if you notice he's almost 20 yards down the field, you really gotta throw it, and there we go. I hit the guy, he caught the ball. So you have to work at it. Now for you younger guys, what you can do is you can hit the boost button, and that's in the bottom right hand of the screen. On most games, you can just see right here, you click the boost on and it'll help tremendously. With baseball, I say boost is required for everybody. You make sure the boost is on and you pick easy, medium, or hard. I've never seen anybody hit it out the park without boost being on. So the, if you're done with the game and you're just in the middle and you wanna change, in the bottom left, you just hit that visual sports button. You click yes, and it'll take you out of the system back to the main menu where you can choose games. Now there's a couple of things in, you wanna keep in mind when you're playing the games, such as baseball. If you're swinging a baseball bat and you're left-handed, you have to keep in mind that the monitors are behind you, so you don't wanna hit the monitors, you wanna offset yourself a little bit when swinging at the baseball, so you clear the monitors. Another thing to keep in mind is when you play hockey, you wanna put the ice down. If you put the ice down, it'll simulate hockey a lot better. You're shooting at a goal, and it's a lot easier to hit the ice like that, the plastic, than hitting the actual turf. So, a couple things to keep in mind when you're playing. It's really important to stay safe in here. So, the well, number one rule we have is if you or anybody else is on the turf swinging a hockey stick, a golf club, or a baseball bat, that everybody else gets off the turf. If you need any assistance with anything, with the computer, with any beverages or snacks, um, please just contact the attendant and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks for coming into Turf Up. It's really important to us that you guys have a great experience here.